Dear friends and learners, welcome to the module. This video is a part of the module Concepts of ODL and the Changing Nature of ODL. Here you will find a basic introduction to open and distance learning. In this video, we shall also discuss about a few characteristics of ODL. There are many definitions of ODL, but for an introduction, we shall take a look at Commonwealth of Learning's definition of ODL. Call defines open and distance learning as a system of education and training that puts onus on the learning resources rather than classroom sessions as the central feature of learning experience. This means that the ODL system is decentralizing learning from the traditional classroom setup. The focus point is the availability and the quality of the learning material. This mode of education disposes traditional classroom setup and uses technology to facilitate the interactions between teachers and learners. In the modern day, most of the interactions happen on the digital platform. In the most basic sense, the concept of open and distance learning is dependent on two simple principles. One is to provide an open access to education and training to all the learners. ODL helps the learners to be free from place and time-bound limitations. One can say that education becomes flexible, cheaper and more accessible through ODL. The ODL system during the early days was considered subordinate to the traditional system. But with time, it has become a system that stands on equal terms with the traditional one. It helps those learners who couldn't get into the traditional education system with a second chance. In fact, the ODL system has been able to set examples for the traditional one, especially with the way it has been able to use technology in the areas of teaching and learning. In the modern world, there is an increasing requirement of education and training. The traditional system has its own limitations because of factors like the need for infrastructure, commutation problems, etc. That is where the ODL system is able to step up and collaborate with a wide range of partners that may include government bodies, inter- and non-governmental organizations, specialized institutions, industrial corporations, telecom companies, etc. Such collaborations will help in meeting the rising demands of education and training. Now, let us take a look at few defining factors of ODL. As we know, ODL stands for Open and Distance Learning. The teacher and the learner are separated from each other in time or space or sometimes both. This characteristic defines the distance term in ODL. One can make self-teaching efforts to educate him or herself, but that is different from attaining education through ODL. The self-teaching effort may not be accredited by an authorized agency and hence does not have any proof of qualification. But the education through ODL is accredited by an authentic agency. ODL has a variety of course material to help its learners. It is not limited to the printed text. It uses digital text, audio and video mediums. It also utilizes radio and television broadcasts, teleconferencing facilities and other internet-based learning facilities. The quality of the courseware is tested and validated before it is made available to the learners. ODL facilitates communication at multiple levels through different mediums. This helps interactions between teachers and students and also among the students themselves. Although the distance is a defining factor in the ODL system, it also allows face-to-face -face interactions when they are inevitably required. For example, in situations when students need guidance, they can approach the concerned study centers and also in scenarios when students need to use facilities like laboratory, library, etc. The staff is often divided and specialized for particular areas in large ODL systems. There are different teams who work on areas like course and content development, assessment and evaluation, etc. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Kindly follow the next video to learn about the types of open and distance learning.